Welcome to the session of master stroke and this master stroke I am going to discuss about the last two digit concept. Last two digit concept I am discussing now number ending with two. Number ending with zero, number ending with one. Already I have taken the separate master stroke. This master stroke I will discuss only number ending with two how to find the last two digit and application of that. And this is you can say it is falling down in the chapter of numbers and of course it will be useful for your QA and puzzles and developing the common sense. Developing the common sense is one of the, your important tasks during your CAT preparation because maybe you will solve 10,000 question or 20,000 question from so many sources of material but you keep in mind same question is not going to come in CAT any of the standard all India exam that is one of the beauty either you are taking IIT, IES or maybe CAT exam whatever you will do the practice maybe from the very standard sources or from online or maybe you will take the help of Google Baba but that same question is not going to repeat how you will able to tackle the new question without developing the observation and common sense it is very difficult to handle the new question because practice only will give you the idea range of the question but if question is falling down that out of the range then how to tackle it then developing the common sense one of the important tasks and during during this uh, preparation at the parolico.com automatically it will be developed just to with me you take the full session or uh, at the parolico.com you take the full preparation of cat i am 100 percent sure it will be one of your important development how to develop the common sense how to develop your observation and how to improve your life life skill at any level cat is one of the important part or cat is you can say one of the integral part or cat is one of the smallest part anything you can understand then this session we are going to discuss about what is the last two digit how it will be found and how it will be useful means application point of view how it will be applied for different type of questions and how many type of category of question is falling down based on this shortcut technique the last two digit one of the fixed thing is there it will be always applicable if number is given in the power a to the power b if we are here a and b are positive integer or natural number of course no need to repeat but again i am repeating now just we'll discuss the special case here if a ends with two then case one if it is a single digit number means two itself two to the power zero one two to the power n any of the number like other than zero like two to the power one two to the power two or two to the power 32 or two to the power one lakh 35 any of the things you will able to find the power cycle or unit digit method two power cycle is falling down in like if you want to find the unit digit of 2 then this power cycle you can follow it will all cyclicity is 4 means 2 to the power 1 it is 2 2 to the power 2 4 2 to the power 3 8 2 to the power 4 it will be 16 or unit digit will be 6 again you are multiplying 16 into 2 it will be become again 32 means unit digit will come 2 it will start to repeat then based on that that repetition of repetition of unit digit or that you can say pattern of unit digit you will able to find unit digit of any of the number 2 to the power n either 2 to the power 1059 or maybe 2 to the power 1596 six nine one five six nine any of the number you will able to find the unit digit now we'll come to the case second second case that will be more interesting and that will be main part of this uh, master stroke pattern will depends on the cycle of 10 means now we are discussing case 2 where a is not a single digit number a is any of the any of the number like either maybe two digit three digit four digit or any of the numbers then how to find the last two digit just we'll try to understand this cycle of 10 or you can say this uh, periodicity of 10 just two minutes your your little more concentration is required otherwise i think less concentration itself will be sufficient but next two minutes you put little more concentration you put little more effort then you will able to understand very easily how it is working out like here 2 to the power 1 it will be 0 to 2 to 2 square 0 4 2 q 0 8 2 to the power 4 16 2 to the power 4 32 64 128 i am just marking last two digit 2 to the power 8 56 and 2 to the power 9 uh, 1 2 and 2 to the power 10 it will be 24 means here 2 to the power 10 it is coming last two digits 24 just will try to extend this same concept if you are taking 2 to the power 20 2 to the power 20 means you can say 2 to the power 10 into 2 to the power 10 10 plus 10 it will become 2 to the power 20 or you can write 2 to the power 10 to the power 2 matter is same either you are writing this or you are writing this matter is same then here 2 to the power 10 it is 1024 means you can say here 24 and again 2 to the power 10 it will be 24 means 24 square and we know by the vedic math rules shortcut technique how to find the square and up to 25 already you are remembered 24 20 up to 25 we are already remembered 21 square 484 22 square 84 after in 23 529 24 576 and 25 625 then 24 square we know already it is 76 
means 2 to the power 20 it will be 76 just will go one more calculation it is not calculation application of Vedic math 76 square means you can say 76 is coming 2 to the power 20 if you are taking 2 to the power 20 square means you can say 2 to the power 40 if you are taking then 76 square again it is coming 5776 seven, means last two digit again it is 76 means you can say 2 to the power 10 a square it is 76 2 to the power 20 a square it is also 76 and if you will extend the idea 76 again you will make a square it will be always 76 means you can say 2 to the power 40 again a square it will be 76 means as a common general way you can say 2 to the power 10 to the power any even number last two digit will be 76 good we concluded something we got one one uh, you can say tool based on that we will able to decide last two digit of any of the numbers ending with 2 2 to the power 10 to the power raising any of the even number like here even number may be 2 4 6 8 means you can say either it will be 2 to the power 20 2 to the power 40 60 80 100 120 140 160 any of the power always last two digit will be 76 now just we'll check if in place of even if it is odd then what what is going to happen like 2 to the power 10 you can write here 2 to the power 10 to the power 1 also means 2 to the power 10 to the power odd that is ending with 24 that is ending with 24 now we'll take the next case next odd number after one it will be three two already considered two already we got the pattern it is ending with 76 means two four six we already got now we are interested to find one three five seven nine eleven thirteen fifteen seventeen like that means all the odd number two to the power ten to the power three then two to the power ten into two to the, two to the power ten into two to the power ten this is ending with 24 this is also ending with 24 and this is also ending with 24 24 into 24 we already know it will be 76 576 or you can say 24 last two digit then it will be last two digit will become 76 it will multiply with 24 if you are multiplying 76 with 24 it will always end with 24 if you are multiplying 76 with 24 any number ending with 76 or any number ending with 24 then last two digit after multiplication it will be always 24 you can check you can apply here concept you can apply here Vedic math technique of multiplication if you want to multiply 76 into 24 it will be always end with 24 other if you want to multiply 176 into 224 that also will end with 24 or you are taking any big number also 976 multiply with 1224 that also end with 24 means always last two digit will be 24 then you can say 2 to the power 10 to the power q it will end with 24 or we can generalize 2 to the power 10 to the power odd it will be always end with 24 means we got the two tools 2 to the power 10 to the power even it will always end with 76 and second one 2 to the power 10 to the power odd it will always end with 24. Now you just tell me any of the power of the two if it is just multiple of 10 you will, will be easily you will be easily find you will be easily able to find either it will be 76 or it will be 24. Now only issue will be there if power is not exactly multiple of 10 then how to do it how to deal with then we have to just put one more step that much only if just i will tell you 2 to the power 1200 then no issue you will just write 2 to the power 10 2 to the power after then 120 120 is even then last two digits will be 76 there is no problem there is no problem in place of 1200 if it is 2 to the power 1300 then also no issue 2 to the power 10 to the power 130. 130 is again, it is an even number. 130 is again even number. Then again, it will end with 76. If it is odd, then it will end with 24. Means power of 2, if it is a multiple, exact multiple of 10, then there is no issue. We got the tool. We got the shortcut technique. Either it will be 76 or 24. Now only issue will be there if power is not multiple of 10. Then what to do? Just we'll take one example. That will be more clear. Like 2 to the power 23. 23 is not multiple of 10. 2 to the power 10. Here we can put here 2. Then it will become 20. Multiplied by 2 to the power 3. Then power wise or you can say just we'll apply the rule a to the power m into a to the power n. Then here a to the power m plus n. That is basic rule of power and exponent. Then here it will become 23. 2 into 10. Here it will be multiplied and this total will make add addition here then it will become 23 then here 2 to the power 10 to the power 2 this is even number no need to tell it is even number then it will end with 76 2 to the power 3 it will end with 0 8 2 to the power 3 we know already 8 just will write in the form of two digit number 0 8 76 into 0 8 will be always 0 8 just you can mark blindly 
सेवेंटी सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड विथ टू टू द पावर वन टू द पावर एनी ऑफ द नंबर मीन्स टू टू पावर नाइन ऑलवेज लास्ट टू डिजिट विल बी दिस वन मीन्स जीरो एट सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू और आफ्टर दैन सिक्सटी फोर वन ट्वेंटी एट मीन्स ट्वेंटी एट विल बी देर देन फिफ्टी सिक्स अगेन इट विल बी वन टू अगेन इट विल ट्वेंटी फोर बिकॉज टू टू द पावर इवेन इट विल गो टू टू द पावर ऑड मीन्स यू कैन से टू टू द पावर टेन टू टू द पावर टेन टू द पावर इवेन If you are going running with power power one to nine, it will convert into two to the power ten to the power odd. Then between this nine power, what will be there? Whatever you are getting the number, same number will be there after multiplication. Or you can multiply also. There is not a big big task. Seventy six you can multiply with eight. Last two digit will be zero eight only. Now we'll take another example. Two to the power fifty four. Two to the power ten to the power five. This is odd and two to the power four. This will end with twenty four and two to the power four will be sixteen. That you have to multiply manually. You can apply the Vedic math very easily. Twenty four into sixteen, you will be able to apply very easily. It will be eighty four. Then two to the power fifty four, last two digit will be eighty four. Means any of the cases we have seen number ending with two. If you want to find the last two digit, you will be easily find. Only two category will be there. Only two category. Either number will be multiple of ten or it will not multiple of ten. If it is multiple of ten, then you have to look. It is two to the power ten to the power odd or two to the power ten to the power even. If it is Two to the power ten to the power odd, it will always end with twenty four. Or if it is two to the power ten to the power even, it will always end with seventy six. If it is not multiple of ten, then you just apply these two tools, and whatever extra power is there, you have to do one step extra multiplication. Application wise, if uh, you can say it is last two digit, then uh, one of the question is that is your independent category of question. Question may be asked like two to the power one nine zero six. Find the last two digit. That is independent category question. Or two to the power two thousand twenty. Find the last two digit. These are the independent category. Or you can say question may be asked. Find the last two digit of this expression. Or in place of two, don't confuse. It will be or only two. I am telling number ending with two. Then in place of two, question may be one thirty two to the power two thousand twenty. That also may be there. What is wrong? Nothing wrong. We have developed this tool. Number ending with two, not only two. If any number ending with two raised to the power anything, we will able to find it. Afterwards, find remainder. If number divides by two square, five square, and ten square. If we want to find the remainder, two to the power two, five to the power two, and ten to the power two, then it is needed needed last two digit. And last two digits is one of the remainder theorem out of seven to eight. Never remainder theorem. How many remainder theorems are there? If I will ask you, suddenly you will not able to recall. That is only bad preparation. That is only bad preparation. Anything, if you are preparing, whatever you have studied already, that you should keep in mind because boundary and the scope of the preparation always it will be very clear in your mind. If that is there, your half of the preparation has done. Like many of the student, you also maybe found many of the times with you. I also found many of the times earlier, very long. Now I am not finding. Like when. Whenever you are doing any particular chapter, that point of time or during that time, maybe few days, you will you will feel very confident about that chapter. After two months, if I will ask again related to same chapter, you will be just uh, not able to recall. You will not able to recall what you have studied two months before. Why this lack is there? This lack only will spoil your preparation. Whatever you are doing, your revision plan should be like that. It should not miss from your brain. Then how many type of remainder theorem are there? Seven to eight remainder theorems are there. It will start with basic remainder theorem BRT. Again, it will come constant remainder theorem. Then CRT, Chenier remainder theorem. Then it will come to last two digit. Then it will come to pattern method. Then Fermat theorem, reverse of Fermat theorem. These all seven eight methods are there. And apart from that, you will able to apply so many special theorem like Wilson theorem is there. That is one of the method. After then, based on the factorial, we will able to develop another remainder theorem. But seven to eight remainder theorems are there. Out of that, one of the remainder theorem is there. That is based on the last two digit. And next is pattern of last two digit. We have seen here pattern of last two digit. If it is multiple of ten, then it will be either seventy six or twenty four. Only possibility. Only possibility. If it is a like two to the power fifty and two to the power sixty, two to the power fifty, it will be twenty four, and two to the power sixty, it will be seventy six. Means if you are considering the power, either it is multiple of ten, then only two choices are there. If it is not multiple of ten, then one, then also very limited choices are there. Means you can say last two digit are having certain pattern. If number ending with two, then that pattern we will able to find. And afterwards, rule of exponent and power. This will be able to because uh, basically this number will be represented in the form of a to the power b. Then rule of exponent and power always will be used. Or you can say basic math also. You have to apply. To get this pattern of last two digit, then these all the application, or you can say it is very wide application, and this is not only useful for your number; it is going to help for your other part or other chapter of numbers also. Then, if you want to understand or you want to learn further, continue to learn at the rate of parolico.com. Thank you, thank you very much.